Welcome to installment 1.1 of how we can utilize the ingenuity of mankind and the growing power of nanotechnology to solve global hunger. In this continuation of part 1, I will finish laying out practical solutions and ways we can answer our dream of ending world hunger, malnutrition, and food shortages without resorting to the supernatural for answers and help. Just in case anyone's thinking nanotechnology is some far off panacea that would never happen and so we still need to lean on God and pray that he solves global hunger, I want to remind you that several products that use nanotechnology are already on the market such as antibacterial dressings, transparent sunscreen lotions, stain resistant fabrics, scratch free paints for cars, and self cleaning windows. Once again, let's get a quick education of what nanotechnology is. Nanotechnology is the manipulation and self-assembly of individual atoms, molecules, and molecular clusters to create materials with new or vastly different properties. Now, enough talk. Let's get to elucidating practical solutions to the juggernaut of a problem. Precision farming. Precision farming can be utilized to solve global hunger by monitoring environmental variables and applying targeted action to farming methodologies. This helps crops to grow at maximum efficiency or precisely identify the nature and location of problems. This increases output of crop yields while lowering input with fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides. This can and will happen with teeny sensors and monitoring systems enabled by nanotechnology. Speaking of nanosensors and farming to increase crop yields, let me elucidate specific ways they will work to solve global hunger by increasing yield output, economic efficiency, and fine-tuning farming methodologies. Nanosensors will utilize carbon nanotubes or nanocantilevers which will be small enough to trap and measure individual proteins or even small molecules. Nanoparticles or nanosurfaces will be engineered to trigger an electrical or chemical signal in the presence of a contaminant such as bacteria. Other nanosensors will work by triggering an enzymatic reaction or by using nanoengineered branching molecules called dendrimers as probes to bind to target chemicals and proteins. In the final analysis, Precision farming will help us attain our goal of ending global hunger by enhancing productivity in agriculture and providing accurate information to help farmers make better decisions and increase overall efficiency. Next we have particle farming. Particle farming could help to reduce food shortages around the globe by increasing added value crops and environmental remediation. Remediation is a process of correcting environmental degradation. Particle farming yields nanoparticles for use by growing plants in defined soils. The next practical application I would like to share with you is smart delivery systems. Nanotechnology will allow us to deliver nutrients to our bodies in a smarter and more targeted fashion. Nanoengineered additives can help food be more easily absorbed within our bodies. The development of nanocochleates, which are nanoparticles, can be used to deliver nutrients such as vitamins, lycopene, and omega fatty acids more efficiently to cells without affecting the color or taste of food. And finally, Although this is admittedly far off in practical application, nanotechnology will possibly enable us to utilize molecular food manufacturing from a top-down approach, which is nanoengineering from a cell scale rather than molecular scale. This could allow more sustainable and efficient food production processes to be developed where less raw materials are used, but food is of a higher nutritional quality. And the ultimate answer to the end of global hunger with the use of nanotechnology is molecular fabrication. Now, I want to manage your expectations right now and freely admit we are not even close to having the power to do this, but I truly feel mankind's greatness is almost unbounded and it is potentially feasible for nanotechnology to develop molecular fabricators that can make the Star Trek replicator a reality, which allows teeny nanobot manipulators to position atoms and molecules to build almost anything, including food, from basic raw materials. This amazing bit of potential technology would obviously end global hunger because it will make food production virtually unlimited. I hope in this short video you have gained an increased perspective on how mankind can overcome one of our most intransigent problems by finding answers from within instead of laying our dreams of ending global hunger at the foot of some god.